So let's do the equilibrium constant for uh, this expression, a little more, like we were saying, a little more scary expression, but still not too um, difficult if you remember the rules, okay? So remember the equilibrium constant, KEQ, okay, is going to be the products raised to their coefficients divided by the reactants, okay? Um, that's their molar concentration. Okay, so, and the only ones we're going to do are ones that are either gaseous or aqueous, okay? So, if we look at the products, right, we've got three products here, but one of them is a pure liquid, so that's not going to be incorporated into the equilibrium expression. Is everybody okay with that? So, what we're going to do is say concentration MN2 plus, Okay. It doesn't have a coefficient, so it's not raised to anything. We're going to multiply that by Cl2, chlorine gas, which also does not have a coefficient, right? So we're not going to raise it to anything. Is everybody okay with that side of the equation? Okay. Now we're going to look at the reactant side of the equation. And we see, well, we've got a pure solid. That's not going to be expressed in the equilibrium constant expression, right? Because pure liquids and pure solids are not expressed. So we have two aqueous components, um, four protons and two chloride ions, right? So what we're going to do is take those protons or hydrogen ions. For those of you who weren't here on Wednesday, we call these things protons these days, right? And we're going to raise those, raise that concentration to the fourth power. And then we're going to take the chloride ion and raise that to the second. So that's the equilibrium constant expression. The one thing you want to remember about these equilibrium constants is, I know we're not putting any numbers in right now, but when you do put numbers in, you're going to get some sort of kind of units of molarity or something over molarity or molarity squared or molarity to the negative two. You're just going to have to cancel those units out because K and Q doesn't have any units, okay? So when you get whatever units, just throw them away, okay? This is the first thing that we've been saying in chemistry that you don't want to put units with, okay? Are there any questions on this one?